This week, my friend Adam Peddle, the writer of the episode, is introducing me to the world of underground poker. Welcome to our poker cabin. Well, I'm honored to be here. This is a first for me. You've never played? I've never played, no. So the action's on, sorry, I forget your name. Miles. Miles? Yeah. Is that your real name? These underground games have changed. The poker explosion, the internet, anonymity is key. No talk at the table, they all hide behind ball caps and sunglasses. Adopt fake personas, use fake names. The only real thing is... Is there money? Uh, somebody like me, huh? How would I get into this? It's mostly word of mouth. I call TJ, say I'm looking for a game. He says, call Wolfie. I say, who's Wolfie? And he gives me a number, I call, I say, TJ says you got a game. And Wolfie, because I mentioned TJ, he tells me when and where. <laughs> It's all about trust, right? It's heads up in between you and Charlotte. I'm only putting this on, not because I know what I'm doing, but it, it looks Christmassy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ross of Sutherland with a pair of twos on the river. Yeah! Takes that his first yeah, pot of poker. I won, yeah, man. Take that in. It means your luck's about to turn, Ross. People uh, who play this game are very superstitious. Uh -huh. Gamblers in general tend to be incredibly superstitious. Nice shoes. Thanks. And for closing cases. There is such a thing as a streak. You felt it yourself? If you're skilled, if you're trained, sure. you know, then luck tends to, to hit you more often. But even for the amateur poker player, luck does run in streaks, definitely. How much is Mr. Humphreys in a TJ for? 91K. We found your name in a book, Ian. A small book that records big debts. Part of gambling addiction is going broke. Uh -huh. And all, even we talk about professional gamblers, they all go broke. A lot of the gamblers that I've met have, have a really hard time expressing feelings to people in their lives, but if you lose money, it's okay to lose your mind and feel rage. And, and if there is that inherent desire to lose, maybe that's why when you win, you keep playing and playing uh, yeah, and playing. Yeah, because you play until you lose. Yeah. And you know you're gonna lose. I have TJ's book. I thought you were done with all that. Yeah, I am. So why isn't there a little tick beside your name, huh? I would say the line between addictive gambling and, and recreational gambling is kind of an, an inability to have any control over your, your compulsive behavior. It's on you, Ross, if you check yeah, or bet. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm feeling very, again, Christmassy. <laughs> cool, it's a nice hand, Ross. Well, uh, I mean, can I walk away from this? Would I make enemies? If you're taking a lot of money off the table, then there's an etiquette to when you can take that money. First, not the right time. Second, never the right time. So you can't start going, you know what, I'm gonna put that five hundred money for Christmas. Should I actually be scared? Is there any danger for my life? There is definitely an added element of danger. You don't feel particularly comfortable. You know, at the end of the night at four o'clock in the morning, if you do win, walking out can often be a bit precarious. I'm Detective Sergeant Edelman and this is Detective Simpson. This will be your last hand of the night. What, what happens when a game game gets raided? The usual kind of protocol is the players are rounded up and written a ticket. This is not what they're after. It's what follows gam. What follows again? The culture of gambling is illegal. Your experience with poker playing, I'm I'm sure, has made it easier for you to write this episode. Has it not? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. I grew up in a, in this environment, and I do feel like there's an authenticity to me writing about this world. Right. right. Oh, Miles, we're out of here, man. Do you want to go for a beer across the street or something? Yeah, yeah, sure. Right. Yeah. Do you have any money? Um, no. You really, <laughs> really <laughs> lost your shirt. <laughs> Straight to the queen. Unframe, believable. Shirt, please.